for a young boy like me, there was nothing better than growing up in the middle of nowhere down a dirt road in the Ozarks. Nathaniel Robert. Nathaniel, that's not very nice. Shelby and I found out she was pregnant with Maverick. Something in us just knew it was time to pack up and head home to the farm. Is that a mama deer or a dad deer? M mama dad. You see a mama deer? Yeah. We're looking for a dad deer. Dad deer. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> a little town in the Ozarks called Lebanon, Missouri. My family's been farming here for five generations now. It's a place I could not wait to get out of when I was younger and a place I couldn't wait to get back to when I got a little older. Growing up out on this farm, I just I spent my whole childhood hunting, crappie fishing with my dad, chasing turkeys. If I look back honestly at my childhood, the greatest memories of my life were made on this farm. And I can't wait for Maverick to kill his first turkey here, to kill his first deer here. I'm just really excited to share these memories in this farm with my son. Maybe I can put the hand up. Maverick has a handful of things he really, really loves, and one of those is John Deere tractors. It's really awesome that we get to combine one of my favorite things, which is hunting, with Maverick's favorite thing, which is tractors. We got Grandpa out here today helping us put in some food plots, and that just adds to this whole experience for us. It's the first week of September, and we're just now getting our fall food plots in. We just relocated from Seattle back to the farm, so it's kind of late in the year, but we're hoping for the best. Another really cool thing about being here on the farm is that I get to teach Maverick about planting a seed and watching it grow. And it's not just something we're doing for fun, but it's to provide some food for the deer and the turkey for the wildlife. This specific food plot is within view of our living room. So the idea is that we're gonna spend some time this winter watching deer and turkey as opposed to watching TV. It's really important being both a business owner and a hunter to be able to monitor the deer and turkey while I'm gone on the road working. And we just couldn't do that without our trail cameras. Maverick and I are watching some trail cam videos for the last time at the end of the summer here before I head out for work and it's just really cool because all summer he's helped me put out mineral and hang cameras and even though he's too young at just a year old to be able to go hunting with me, he gets to be part of the process watching what bucks are coming into the mineral sites and helping me decide which bucks I want to hunt. I'm a filmmaker, so my job is unique in the fact that I spend all summer on my farm watching deer and preparing for archery season, and as soon as Missouri lets us start bow hunting, I have to jump in my truck or get on an airplane and head west. 
so my days in the field are pretty limited. I'm home for a couple days, so I'm checking the trail cameras to see what bucks are still in the area. I'm gonna hang a couple stands and get ready for the rut. I love early fall. I love the leaves changing colors, the cool breeze, something really special about hanging stands and just being out here listening to God's voice, hearing what he has to say to me and just kind of resetting being home from work for a few days. This has probably been the busiest fall of my life. I've been all over the place, so I'm so excited to be home. I got four days to set in the stand. The rut is kicking off, and hopefully I get to kill a whitetail of my own. One night during the Missouri firearm season, I was home. I was out feeding cows with grandpa, and I would notice the buck along the edge of the field. The closer I got in my UTV, I realized he was sick. There was something totally wrong with this deer. So I used my Missouri firearms buck tag to harvest this deer. If our goal is to manage our whitetail herd, efficiently and correctly. Sometimes that means we have to use a tag on a deer we really don't want to use it on. We spend a ton of time, effort, and money on managing our whitetail properties. And if all of that is just to kill a mature buck, then we're doing it for the wrong reasons. Fall came and passed, and unfortunately I didn't spend enough time in the stand to get to capitalize and kill a mature buck like I wanted to. And that can be super frustrating. That can feel like all the time I spent was totally wasted. But that couldn't be further from the truth. If I look back on this season and see all the nights that Maverick and I spent watching deer feed, if we wouldn't have spent all that time doing that, and we would have missed out on a bunch of great times together and a bunch of great memories that I know I'm gonna have for the rest of my life. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with the Boone and Crockett buck. And it's got everything to do with my son and my future children. And to pass this farm down to the next generation, to pass this legacy and this tradition down to the next generation of, of harvesting your own food of being self-sustainable and keeping the tradition of hunting alive. Mm -hmm.